Say, after learning about different things about measurement, we will now move on to our second unit which is all about kinematics. I think it is the first time that you heard the word kinematics. So that's why I will give you a short background about the study of it. Kinematics is a branch of mechanics, a classical physics that deals with the study of motion. Okay, so what we are uh, discussing, what we are going to discuss about kinematics is about uh, motion or moving bodies, which is an essential part in the study of physics. For our first lesson, it is all about vector addition using Pythagorean and trigonometric method. But before we start with our lesson, let us familiarize ourselves about the vectors. Vectors, when compared to scalar quantities, are quantities on physics which include not only the magnitude but also the direction of an object. It is used to represent the motion or the movement of an object with complete details about its magnitude or the speed and the right direction where it is moving. As I have told you earlier, vectors are used to represent the motion of an object with complete magnitude and direction. When we say the magnitude, it tells how fast the object is moving and direction tells where does the object move. Okay? For example, we have here the vector that is represented by, a, by an arrow. So we will draw a line and then we will draw in um, the arrowhead so that is a vector okay so paano niya masasabi na meron niyang direction and meron diyang magnitude so for example this arrowhead tells where does the vector moves okay so for example kung yan yung vector saan siya nagmo-move it is moving okay to the right side of the uh, to the right side of the road, for example. Kasi nga, nakaturo siya sa right. Or, pwede rin namang sabihin natin, since it is uh, pointing at the right side, it is pointing to the east. Kasi yung east natin is also our right side sa mapa. Okay? So, that is the direction that is represented by the ve this vector. Now, where is the magnitude? Yung magnitude na sinasabi natin is yung buong body ng vector. Okay? It tells how far did the uh, did the vector travel or how fast did the vector travel. For example, yan ay 30 kilometers per hour moving to the east. Okay? So that is a vector. Meron siyang direction which is east and then meron din siyang magnitude which is 30 kilometers per hours. So our objective for this uh, lesson is to find the resultant vector in component vectors forming right triangle using Pythagorean and trigonometric method. Okay. So for example, we have vector A Okay, so ito siya. And then we have vector B. For example, yung isa is going to the east. And then yung isa naman is going to the south. Okay? Yan. Going to the south. So there are two vectors. Okay? So paano ba natin ilalagay yung arrowhead? So depende kung asan yung direction. For example, ito going to the east. Okay, so we have here arrow, and then going to the south, dito mo ilalagay yung arrow. So, yung, uh, yung first vector, idodraw natin yung direction niya, which is going to the right, and then yung second vector, idudugtong natin dun sa naunang vector, doon sa kanyang arrowhead. Okay, hindi natin siya pwedeng idugtong dito sa may kanyang tail, kundi idudugtong natin yung second vector dun sa kanyang arrowhead. And then, susundan natin kung ano yung kanyang direction. For example, ang direction niya nga is south. So, pababa yung vector. 
So, yung dalawang vector na yan, yan yung tinatawag nating component vectors. They are the two vectors given. So, for example, lagyan natin ng, uh, ng variables. For example, uh, naglakad ka to the right or to the east, and then pumunta ka sa south. Okay? So, yan yung uh, representation ng iyong movement. So, that, those were your component vectors. Okay, for example, 50 steps to the east and then 20 steps to the uh, south. Then, paano natin malalaman kung ano yung resultant vector niya? Okay, so using diagram, ang gagawin lang natin, i-drawing lang natin siya from the tail. Okay, kung kanina, kapag component vectors, um, idudugtong natin sa arrowhead. Ngayon, kapag ka resultant vector na yung hinahanap natin, Ang gagawin ninyo is idudugtong siya from the tail up to the head of the last vector. Okay? So, yan na yung tinatawag nating resultant vector or represented by letter R. Okay? So, ito yung unang dalawang vectors. First vector is 50 steps going to the east and then yung pangalawa 20 steps going to the south. And then, result ng vector, from your initial position, gagawa tayo ng isang arrow papunta dun sa final position. Yan yung tinatawag na resultant vector. Or kung gaano kalayo yung tayong travel mo. Or yung displacement na tinatawag. Or yung shortest distance from the initial position to the final position. Ngayon, hindi tayo gagamit ng diagram para alamin kung ano yung resultant vector. Sabi nga sa objective, we will use the Pythagorean theorem and the tangent function or trigonomic function to find the value of resultant vector. Hindi kasi natin alam, ito kasi definitely nakikita natin it is going to the east. Ito definitely nakikita natin going to the south. But this, anong direction ito? Okay? And gano siya kahaba? So, we will use Pythagorean theorem. Why? Okay? Because as you can see, it forms a right triangle. Okay? And it has right angle. And yung Pythagorean theorem, ginagamit siya kapag ka nakakabuo tayo ng right triangle. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan, let us have an example. Now, to solve for vector addition, Using precise measurements, analytical method will be used using Pythagorean and trigonometric functions. Okay? So, sabi ko nga kanina, components are forming right triangle. So, dun lang natin pwedeng gamitin yung Pythagorean theorem. Later on, na may may tuturo ako about kung paano naman kung hindi right triangle. But, let us focus on this situation wherein vectors are forming right angles. So, how we will solve for that? Okay, so math, science on the link. Okay, so lagi naman, math and science are on the link. So, yung uh, idea ng math, gagamitin natin dito sa physics. Okay, so we will use Pythagorean theorem formula versus Sir Isaac Newton. Siya yung nag, uh, nag-propose nun, which is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Or C is equal to square root of A squared plus B squared to solve for the value of resultant vector R. Okay? So, ang, gag ang gagamitin naman natin, uh, R is equal to S squared, parang yun yung A squared, plus S1. Okay, so yun yung uh, gagamitin natin formula to solve for the resultant vector. Okay? So, for tangent uh, naman, for trigonomic method, we will use the tangent function at uh, tangent theta is equal to y over x. Okay? So, nandun yun sa modules ninyo. So, let us have a solve problems. Let us have solve problems number, solve problem number one. We have a man drives 10 miles north and then 20 miles east. What are the magnitude and direction of his displacement? Okay, so the, again, the given values from problem number 1 is equal to S1 or the first vector is equal to 10 miles north. And S2 or the second vector is equal to 20 miles east.
So we will use the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude of the resultant vector of the two. And that is R is equal to square root of S2 squared plus S1 squared. So substituting the given values, we have S2 is 20 miles squared plus the value of S1 which is 10 miles squared. Getting their square value or multiplying them by themselves, we have 20 times 20 is equal to 400 miles squared and 10 times 10 is equal to 100 miles squared. Adding the two values, we will get 500 miles squared. And that is the last step before you compute it to its square. And what value will you get is the magnitude of the vector. Okay, so how will you do that using your calculator? So to compute for the square root of 500, you just need a calculator application. Just download scientific calculator. Or if you have calculator at home, you can also use it. So type the radical sign or the square root sign and then 500. You will get 22.36. Okay? So we will just get only two decimal places to make it constant always when we are computing in V6. So the magnitude of the vector or the resultant vector is equal to 22.36 miles. And that's how you calculate the magnitude or how far did the vector or the resultant vector was traveled by the man. Now that we get the magnitude of the resultant vector, we will now get the direction or the angle where it goes. Now to find that angle, we will use a trigonometric function tangent theta is equal to y over x or the value that lies in the y-axis and the x-axis. Now to know who lies on the x-axis, let us have this diagram of Cartesian plane. We have here the value of y or y-axis is at the top or vertical and x is the horizontal. Now that we know that the cardinal points are north, east, west, and south. And our given values from the first example is S1 is equal to 10 miles north. And S2 is equal to 20 miles east. Okay. So it is understood that 10 miles north is our y-axis and then 20 miles east is our x-axis. Knowing that, we can now substitute the given values on our formula or the tangent function. So we have y is equal to 10 and then x is equal to 20. Okay? So 10 divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.5. Okay, so that type it on your calculator. And then we will transpose tangent to the right side of the equation, make it it theta is equal to tangent arc or arc tangent 0.5. Okay? So when you type that on your calculator, you just need to press shift and then tangent and then type 0.5 to get the value of the direction. So with that, we have the value of arc tangent 0.5 is equal to 26.57 degrees. It's just like this, we have, for example, your scientific calculator, you will just press the shift key and then the tangent function and then type 0.5. Okay, so the value is 26.57. 57. It is round down into two decimal 
places. Okay? So knowing that we have calculated the magnitude and the direction, we have the final answer of R or the magnitude is equal to 22.36 miles. And then the direction of that resultant vector is 26.57 degrees. And that is our final answer for problem number one. Now let us have our second example. Now I want you to solve this one. Just pause the video and resume it after you have finished calculating the answers. Now, for problem number two, we have a man walks two meters east and then turns and walks five meters north to reach his house from his farm. Where is the man with respect to his farm? Okay, so let us try to solve this one. Let's check if you get the same answer with the correct answer that I will show you. The given values for problem number two are... S1 is equal to 2 meters east and S2 is equal to 5 meters north. Okay, we will use again the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude. So we have R is equal to square root of S2 which is 5 meters squared and S1 which is 2 meters squared. Multiplying by themselves, we will get is equal to square root of 5 squared is 25 meters squared or square meters. And 2 squared is equal to 4 square meters. Adding the two values, we will get square root of 29 square meters. We will get the value of this to get the magnitude of the vector or the resultant vector and you will need a calculator so we have square root of 29 is equal to 5.39 meters okay round down it into two decimal places so we will get 5.39 meters and that is the magnitude of the resultant vector now again, to solve for the direction of the resultant vector, we will use this tangent function. Tangent theta is equal to y over x. Okay, again, we will first determine what is the y value and the x value. And we know that we have 5 meters north in the given and that is our y. And 2 meters east is our x in the value. So we have 5 divided by 2, we will get tangent theta is equal to 2.5. Okay, so type, type it in your calculator, it will give you 2.5. And then transpose tangent to the right side of the equation, making it arc tangent. So see 2.5. Type that on your calculator. We have arc tangent, so you will press shift and then the tangent key 2.5. You will get the answer of 68.2 or 20 degrees, and that is the direction of your vector or the resultant vector. Now that's it for our lesson number two. If you still have questions or clarifications that you want to make, feel free to ask me during our specified time. Now if you want to learn more about our lesson, you can open the file Vector Addition on your flash drive or scan this QR code to access the link. Now it's time for the quiz. Let's check your understanding of our lesson. Answer Unit 2, Activity 1 on the assessment sheets on your learning packet. Thank you and God bless.